Welcome back to GDPG. Hey. I'm standing over the body of a dead... I'm going to go with ogre. It is very ogre-like. I mean, yeah. it's got a club and everything, and that's a pretty traditional weapon of ogres. We were discussing uh, how it would be cool if there was a, a bestiary um, to the game. I think that would be... By the way, that's money. I'm picking up some money. Ah! That's dude, strange. I was looking at my money. <laughs> oh, get out of there, man. Ah, cool. No, I got this. See, that's the cool thing about John. Didn't even have to move. Not yeah, to that's move. fair. No, I have to move. <laughs> you, ooh. Yeah, and those guys... Their damage uh, does not leave you happy. Um, what were we saying? The be best area? Best area, yeah, it'd be nice to... It'd be cool to have one. Not that, like, I need to have one or anything. Just it'd be, like, cool to know what these things are, some of them. Well, it's sort of an achievement hunter thing, too. So, like, this is a procedurally generated game, right? Mm -hmm. So the levels change every time you play it. Um, and so far as it is, I feel like I've seen the same monsters every time I've played through it, so it's just the level structure that changes. But I wouldn't be surprised if the monsters do eventually start changing, when they have enough to, like, you know, be able to change them up. Um, and so at that point, it's nice to have a bestiary just so that we can track, like, what have we found? What's still left to be discovered? Is there a reason for me to go back to earlier levels to hunt down certain types of monsters? Um... I don't know, like, it's, it doesn't sound like that great to a lot of people, but like, anyone that's an achievement hunter, I think, would, would like, really love that. Yeah, I mean, I usually... Well, it's it, a good place to hide really, lore of the game, too. There's there's two things that, actually, one of my favorite best series, uh, ironically, was uh, Devil May Cry's. Um, now I don't know. Yeah, I know. Uh, now I don't know about later ones, nice. um, but uh, the, at least the first one, when you would um, when you would pull the monster up, you would be able to see their moves, and you could be like, mm. "Oh, cool! Looking at this. Oh my God, what is that? That's new to me." Oh, really? That's so. Every now and then, we encounter a monster that has that like rage going on. I, I guess it's a monster that just has a special oh, ability. Right. They do the um. Uh, the... And and that's just one of the abilities. So he's just generating ice constantly until you kill him, <laughs> because he can. Find him. Red monster. Red monster! <laughs> he is a red monster! Yep. Oh, you're gonna die, man. I know. I know this is not bode well for me. I need to kill something and get some health. So, have you... So, later on, I think starting on floor two of the caves, um, there are challenge rooms. And if you beat the challenge room... Ooh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's the stone that we picked up on floor one, by the way, that we didn't show off in the last please episode. Please die. Please die. Not, not me. <laughs> Dude, axe. Wow, man. Man. You are, like, hanging on by a thread. Um, but there are rooms on the second floor that are basically challenge rooms. Oh, you are asking for trouble. Get out of got there, this. man. Got this. Got this. Oh, I'm fucked. You don't got this. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Hey, at least you took out a bunch of... Oh, you, you, you actually healed after... You, because you leveled up, you got full health after you died. Oh. <laughs> That's oh man, sad. that is sad. You did, you did good though. Uh, you did better than level. I did my first if run. I probably, I just like killed something. I might have gained level if I had paid attention to my experience bar. Mm. It's one of those games where when you gain a level, you get your full health, and actually, you also hurt everything around you. Cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. But All right, so uh, how I do was... we want to do this? Do we want uh, you to take the next one and pick a different character? Do we want to keep working on John? Um. Hmm. Let's have you run again. I feel like if I start playing, we're gonna have to switch seats. That's fair. Just because we we didn't get the Steam controller to so, work, so I gained some love. And yeah. Now I get to distribute some points. Um. Not everybody has things like this, so like he's the only one that I've seen that can actually increase his hit points. Pretty cool. That's uh, true. Yep. Uh, he has the ability to reflect damage or do more damage when reflecting uh, attacks when he blocks. I assume there are some set things that still increase every time you level up. Like I think you I do more you do damage. Get, I know you get more health. Joe. You do get more. But health. Okay. He's the only one that can actively like. So he go he can points. just min max really. Mm -hmm. um, reduce damage taken when blocking. Increase. I don't have that ability yet. Another ability and then increase shield uh, dash ability. I wonder if they plan on having more than just six of these things for future iterations I, I of the game. I do wonder. Um, or I mean, like they have space prestige, for like it. Once you get so many levels and stuff oh, like that, you yeah. can go to the next set of things. Um, so we're hmm. going to go... Or, you know, we're just going to go with... Uh, uh, this is going to force me to block more. And this is going to force me to block more, so I'll do more damage when I block. And, uh, you know what? 
we'll also get some health. All right, so we'll just do one all around because whatever. For the record, um, at least right now, the most you can put in is three points into one thing. So oh, really? So you're going to four, four okay. point. I wouldn't be able to put it here. I was actually just about to ask you that, mm -hmm. too, because I was curious. I'm sure that might change based on future iterations of the game, but yeah. say, say like, the caves are the only level that are actually playable right now, which is totally possible. Um, they don't want to give the player the means of getting so powerful that it's just a cakewalk. Oh, yeah. Plus, they did mention, they're like, sorry, just, just heads up, you are going to, uh, you're going to lose your, your data at some point because we have to refresh things, so. That's sort of the nature of it. I feel like anyone that's, oh. nice, I feel like anyone that's ever played a, an alpha or beta version of a game sh is, they should know, sh it. They should know it by now. Because that's that's just like wait into the end. the necessary part of iteration, right? Like, even if they change any any little bit about the data architecture going on behind the scenes, like you have to clear the data, otherwise you're gonna break the local copy on on the machine, and then people are gonna be like, "What does my game work?" Well, we tried to let you keep your data. That's why. <laughs> that's, you do this, not you. us. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So what is the money for? Uh, don't know yet. Okay, so it might either not be ready for use yet, or we just haven't seen where it's used. Yes, entirely. Ah! Does it, oh, does it, on. do you have like a total pool of money at your estate? Oh, my money started over. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It, your money uh, changes last every run. time I was doing it, it didn't. Oh, really? Yeah, I, hmm. I, I kept it all, I think. I mean, that could have been a bug. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. You're probably crazy. That I don't if I know, know maybe anything. Maybe I just collected a lot of money on my my few runs and was doing a lot better than I am now. Ugh. Get that money. Get that money. So then, what do you think the money will be used for? Is the next question. Traps. Really. So that's the other thing. Um, what? Uh, let's see. I know that the grandmother is, is. She has like the ability to tinker potions and stuff. Um, that makes sense. So, so you could like buy potions. Yeah, that might be a possibility. There might be weapon upgrades, maybe. That would be interesting. I guess they could choose to separate upgrades into separate components, like the experience upgrades abilities or stats on on characters, whereas like money can upgrade like things like weapon power or like damage reduction or mm -hmm. anything like that. That'd be interesting. As long as it doesn't double up too much with the abilities. That's... Right, exactly. You don't want it to be redundant. You want each to feel kind of like they have their own unique purpose. Yeah. That's why him being able to gain health is is unique. Only is is fine because he's the only one that can do that. That definitely caters to a certain style for him. Yeah, I mean, some of the other characters, like the uh, the Dude, youngest son. I hate bats so much. I think bats are, are definitely John's, uh, I mean, they're not his weakness because they're weak monsters to begin with, but like, it's because they kind of hover off to the side and John is slower than all the other characters and he's not ranged. Yeah. Um, so it's harder for him to reach them. And they do that dash. It's that dash that always gets me. It's like, it takes me by surprise every time. Because, it's like, I, I keep meaning to block, and I'm just not pulling it off in time. Well, it's it's because there's no anticipation for the actual dash attack. Um, which, I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing that it doesn't. Um, because normally there'd be, like, at least a little bit of pullback, right? Unless I'm just missing it, but I don't think there is. Um, and it's sort of to indicate that, hey, this, this monster is about to do something. Um, I think the counter-argument to that is that the bats are so weak that you can kill them in two strikes no matter what character you're using, no matter what. Yeah, um, so true. it's not like a huge loss if you get hit by them. That is not a good situation to be in. I find it interesting that the, uh, the trap doesn't pull in the monsters either. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, it doesn't really need to. Maybe the idea is, is that it's like a malevolent force, so it only pulls in. Flavor-wise, it's probably <laughs> what it is, but mechanics-wise, I understand completely because otherwise monsters would just get trapped in those areas. Yeah, and yeah. And wouldn't be able to move out of them. Then it would almost make it better for the player than harmful to the player. If that makes sense. Like, the player could just trap a bunch of monsters in there, and then go on his or her and merry way. get the experience, because <laughs> you do get experience. That's, That's the thing true. I find interesting, is that that experience uh, 
is not um, it's not very obvious that it's it's happening. No, it's not. I mean, that's okay. It doesn't need to be in your face. I I almost like that. Vampirism. Oh, that is one of my one favorites. I, I got vampirism. So I, I don't know if I finished my string of thought in the last episode, but I was talking about how there are challenge rooms and starting on the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, and basically you go in there and you fight three waves of monsters. And if you survive, you get a bonus reward. Um, Pretty cool. The first one that I got out of that was vampirism, vampirism and... Uh, <laughs> And that is what got me to the the boss of the caves, and then I died at the boss. But it's a uh, it's a very useful ability, so long as you don't die. This is a terrible area for me. It's because this is the area where they start dropping those tougher guys. Yes. They're like demon monkeys. In my they kind of are. Like demon monkeys with claw hands. Ah! Oh, that almost got me. Oh, these guys though, they look like crystal lasers. The thing I find interesting about those, so those are they're spawned from that dude that's got the like, the red monster. Um, but if you kill the red monster, they don't go away. I don't know if that's a glitch or if like. That is that that is unusual to how that mechanic normally wants. Works or maybe because it's very much like Gauntlet or uh, you suck. Yeah, they're really hard to dodge sometimes. See, they they stick around. I mean, oh, maybe that they is weird. maybe they disappear after a couple of shots. So it, they could just be like on the field for a, a certain duration. I guess every time I just seen them, I've kind of like hightailed it out of there, so I never really experienced that. That's fair. God, I hate you so much. I hate you. I hate you. God, I hate you. you gotta dodge more, man. I think that's what you're missing. I will say the sound design is pretty solid. Every time they hit your shield, I know, oh, man, I know you used your shield. Satisfying. It is, it is really satisfying. Eddie would be proud. <laughs> He'd be really happy, actually. <laughs> but it's, it's good user feedback too. Like, we even have the the TV volume pretty low, and we can still hear it and still get the satisfaction out of it. Right. Not saying that the audio balance is bad. I'm just saying like, it's good. Rings true. Does what's supposed to do. Yeet. Yeah. That that you missed all of them, Nathan. Nope. Boom. Heavenly sword and lock. That's nice. what I wanted. Now I'm powerful. I find this one a, in, this ability interesting too because John just gets heavenly swords. Um but you can actually get it as an upgrade. And it's not exactly the same, but it effectively is the same. It's better in my opinion. Uh the the, the relic version, because the relic version you can use it and then move. Is yeah. To stay in place. Um, however, uh, every I, I've noticed that you can get. Well, I don't know about the the archer, but uh, you can get the shadow walk from um, the little brother too. Yeah, actually, I, I did get that. The you mean in relic form? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright, so none of this was what I was expecting. Was... So here's my theory on how they craft these these uh, the caves at least. Um, don't know about the rest of their levels, but at least these ones. Mm -hmm. is, um, the first floor is like very short. There's only uh, two areas in it. And then after that, um, after that, uh, those first two floors, you know, you, you move on to the next area, you get an upgrade. And then um, the second cave, or second floor is, has, I want to say like three or four. I hate you so much, monkey man. It's tough because they your attacks normally stun enemies, but they don't stun the red monsters. I think they do, it's just very short. I guess that's possible, yeah. Oh, they it's the AI is so intelligent, they're always getting behind me, it's driving me nuts. I'll <laughs> swing and they'll just go right behind me every time. Urgh. Oh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so the second floor I think is um, it just like you get a few floors, uh, but I think in the second floor there's a possibility of an event happening. Because mm. remember when I was telling you I saved a cub, that happened on the second floor. Oh, okay. So they have some kind of like, um, well, I guess not surprisingly, some kind of like interesting logic going on. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. I think we should save the rest of this for the next episode because we're at that time. Um, question of the day, though. Why am I not doing well? Oh my god! Because you're not dodging. We're at least uh, in the I right did. direction. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I dodged. I don't know what I was dodging, but I did the action of it. 
terrible. Uh, so maybe question of the day is going to be a little bit more broad, but I want to ask you guys what kind of abilities, from what you've seen so far in the game, what kind of abilities would you design for this game? Ah. Because there's a lot, th I think that one of the greatest things about this game is that it has a huge potential to be, it can go so many different directions with all sorts of different abilities and upgrades and stuff. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of Binding of Isaac in, in some ways, um, in terms of like I can see that. what it's doing as far as the procedural level generation goes and like the abilities you can acquire. It's actually, I mean, good you said that. That's uh, that's one of the comparisons that Rachel made too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she's played more Binding than anything. <laughs> So, what do you guys think? Like, what kind of abilities would you design for this game? And, uh, yeah. I mean, put your uh, answer in the comments below, and, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll talk to you there, I guess. Shooting things with swords. <laughs> Shooting swords. Shooting swords. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Shooting swords. <laughs>